Hello again and welcome to my channel. Um, today, well, uh, it's a little bit different. We're actually heading off by ship to northern Spain, to Santander. Uh, although we're still keen to go to Sarawak, um, because of the delay in reopening the borders, we decided that it was time to have another holiday uh, and go and look at uh, northern Spain first. And that's exactly what we're going to do. We're going to look at northern Spain. And uh, here we are just queuing up for the ship, which should be here in uh, two hours time. Uh, and we're looking forward to our journey. And I look forward to updating you when we're on the ship. very shortly departing for Santander in Spain. Uh, the ship takes two and a half thousand passengers. Uh, that's approximately 650 cars worth of people. Uh, it's very large as you can see, it's around about 40,000 tons. We're standing at the moment on the helicopter deck. Um, the helicopter deck is used in emergencies where people perhaps fall ill on the ferry and need to be helicoptered to the mainland. Hopefully that won't happen on this voyage. Um, and you can just look around. This is Plymouth, which is one of the oldest seaports in the world. Um, very historic. Uh, and if you just have a little look over there, you can see what looks like a control tower. That control tower is in fact Her Majesty's Coast Guard service for Plymouth. 
and from there they control all of the shipping movements that come into Plymouth. Uh, Plymouth is uh, Europe's also Europe's largest uh, naval dockyard. It has many naval ships, uh, quite apart from ferries and pleasure cruisers. Well, it's a beautiful afternoon. Um, we're all set for a beautiful voyage, and I will speak to you later on during the course of our crossing. Well, here we are on uh, the uh, Pont Avant. We are in our cabin, as you can probably see, uh, for the duration of the crossing. We've got a lovely view of uh, Plymouth outside there as we uh, head out of the harbour and uh, out of the breakwater into the open sea. Uh, our journey is going to take us past um, the Channel Islands of Jersey and Guernsey. So hopefully we'll be on deck to see that. Um, we also have dinner booked in the a la carte restaurant for uh, 6.15 this evening, uh, which we're looking forward to having. Um, but for the moment, we're just relaxing in this beautiful cabin, um, which is really nice. Um, and we're also enjoying very calm seas, which is extremely unusual um, when you think that today is the 27th of March, and normally in March, the weather can be quite rough. Um, so we're lucky and we believe from the captain that this weather will continue across the infamous Bay of Biscay until we arrive in Santander tomorrow afternoon at one o'clock. So we are going to sit back, enjoy and then have a lovely dinner. Good to talk to you.
1987 in England, where we live, uh, we're already actually in the English Channel, and uh, probably just a, a couple of hours to run uh, before we uh, hit the UK. Um, we've been very fortunate because uh, this crossing goes across the notoriously uh, choppy Bay of Biscay, but in fact uh, on this uh, journey, which is a 20 hour crossing, uh, it's been pretty calm. It was only winds force of six, uh, which is really uh, not too bad. Um, storm force goes up to 12, so six is about halfway on the scale. But it's been a, a wonderful crossing. Uh, and, uh, you know, in many ways we are sorry to be going home because we had such a fantastic time in Spain. But all good holidays must come to an end. And this one is coming to an end. Uh, the next trip which our family will make will be to Kuching. Uh, and the long promised trip to Kuching. And we'll have to keep you posted from there. So thank you for watching my blog. And I hope you've enjoyed our adventures in Spain.